Welcome to BuildEdge Pro. I'm Aaron Dietzen, and I'm going to help you with creating walls in BuildEdge Pro. Here I am in BuildEdge Pro SketchUp 2014, and I have the wall properties displayed. The two main wall properties are the wall width and the wall height. I can change either of these values by clicking on the numbers in the field and typing over top. You'll notice that right now I am inputting imperial units, inches and feet. Build Edge Pro will default to whatever value you're actually using inside of SketchUp at the time. The third value here is interior exterior. As of now, interior exterior won't affect your modeling at all. So right now I'm going to leave it as exterior. Above the property screens I have two buttons. One is draw wall. Gives us an icon similar to what we see for draw a line in SketchUp. If I click at a point, and I drag my mouse, rather than just drawing a line like SketchUp will, I actually drag a 3D display of the wall that will be drawn. Now I can draw this by clicking, moving my mouse and clicking. Each time I click, I will draw a wall between those two points. Or, lower right corner shows the measurement of that line. I can type in a specific length that I want. In this case, let's say I want a 20 foot wall and hit enter, which will give me a 20 foot long wall. Build Edge lets you draw walls the same way SketchUp draws lines. If I click, move my mouse, and then release, I get a single standalone wall. If I click release, move my mouse, click release again, I draw a wall and am ready to start the next connected wall. I'm going to zoom in here a little closer and show you something. If I hit the left or right arrow keys, I can actually toggle the wall placement between left, center, and right. This lets me choose which direction of the line the wall is going to fall. The other thing I can change on the fly as I'm drawing is the wall properties. If I want to change the height of this wall, I can come in, type it in, in this case I'll put seven foot, click, and get a smaller wall. Next wall is shorter, I can change that again, five foot, click, I get a smaller wall. The other thing I want to point out at this point is how the walls are closing their corners up automatically. If I click and drag a wall off this corner, I can see how the previous corner is going to automatically snap. If I draw a wall at an angle, I get an open corner like this. This is just something to be aware of as you're drawing. When you don't have walls meeting at 90 degrees, you will have gaps that you'll have to account for at some point. When I click on an existing wall and start drawing a new wall, you notice that that wall, despite where I clicked on the wall, is automatically snapped to the bottom of the existing wall. This is an intentional tool created to help you put interior walls inside of a building. To choose the start point of a wall, hold down the Alt or Command key to draw a wall wherever you want. This allows you to do things like draw walls on top of walls rather than snapping to the bottom. The other method of input for walls is Auto Outline, which allows you to hover over any closed polygon, click, and get a string of walls around the polygon. This makes inputting exterior walls a snap. That covers the basics of creating walls. Please visit www.buildedge.com for more information and additional videos. Thank you very much.